Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly BIM productivity videos. In previous videos, I showed how to create and manage materials in Revit so that they're consistent from Revit, Enscape, and Lumion, for example. Now, let's take a look at QBD. So this is getting interesting because we developed this material library for Revit, Enscape, and then with Lumion as a final goal. But then we realized, well, why don't we try other applications like Cubity, for example? Let's get right into Cubity. The first thing you want to do is export the file and it'll go ahead and export it automatically for you. So once you receive the link to your model, just tap on it and you'll be uh, sent to install the application or directly into your model if you already have it installed. It's QBD Go. And there's our model. You can already tell that you know some of the entourage is not showing, but you can see that uh, almost, I think all the materials are showing. Some of the columns are flickering because obviously they're, share, they're sharing the same plane with, uh, with the walls, but you see that all the side materials are showing. Now uh, let's uh, get into the augmented reality. Yeah, let's pick some uh, lighting here just so we have it have a better view. And you can see that the soil, you have um, wood flooring, some tiles, exposed concrete. See all the materials that we've applied look really good even in uh, uh, an application like this. And let's also do a quick uh, walkthrough in landscape mode just to show that it's possible. I think it actually looks a lot better than uh, the portrait mode. Now this exercise was more about productivity and consistency rather than quality. I know you can do a better job at that. Now let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.